problems, but they're not from anyone, you know, on the other end. They're just uh, a way for teachers to get us thinking. So anyhow, this was actually uh, something put together by our county. Uh, Napa County has a contract with Red Flats that expires this year in June. And they were asking us, we need you to research, uh, analyze, and uh, ask, interview people, and figure out whether or not you believe we should renew the contract with Red Flex, uh, keep it, or, and change it, or just keep it the way it is. So um, I'm going to show you a video uh, that I did for extra credit for this project, um, where I interviewed the mayor <coughs> and the commander of police, which my mom hooked me up with. So, uh, so we're only going to show you a portion of this long video. It was, I know, I should have just said play. We have a contract with Red Flex, and it is, as I kind of indicated before, it's a cost neutral uh, contract. That contract with Red Flex, depending upon the intersection, ranges anywhere from five to six thousand dollars per intersection. We currently have four intersections. So we are in, a, in the maximum we would be paying twenty four thousand dollars, but in reality I think only two of our intersections receive six thousand and the other two receive five thousand. So if you do the math that's about twenty two thousand dollars a month. Uh, but that's the most we would ever be really in the event any one of those intersections <laughs> uh, doesn't reach the rep I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know, I messed it up. <laughs> yeah. there we go. Of a $455 ticket, only $140 of that comes back to the city. And at that $140, we have to pay Red Flex at $140. The remaining amount of dollars actually goes to the state and to the county. They receive monies by way of uh, fees and assessments, which the courts and the state have added on to that fine. <laughs> Uh, the fine itself is very small. It's all the, all the fees and the assessments that the state adds that really makes it real expensive. The finding of itself for the violation is, is fairly small. Again, over, I guess, 140 goes back to the city, pays the city fine and pays for red flex. All the rest of the fine is add-ons from the state. Pay for uh, court construction, jail construction, uh, criminal surgery, <laughs> state court construction, state court facilities, conviction assessments, security, cr uh, criminal charge. So $20, $30 fees are all just tacked on. The state's in trouble budgetarily, but this is something that they've added, um, and, and it's, it's very detrimental to people that end up um, with these kind of tickets. All right. Oh, I didn't click anything. Okay, so as you can see, the main gist of my project, even though it didn't really have much to do with the contract, our recommendation was to let the contract expire because of the state add-on. Um, so of the $440 that you get for a ticket, also turning bright on the red light going straight through is like the same thing. That was kind of unfair. But um, 300 of those dollars went straight to the state. So it's kind of like a tax. And that's what really made me think about this project. I found something that I felt I could influence with. So we had the mayor, a police member, someone from the Napa Register, we have a part of our panel, I forgot to mention that. We have a panel at every presentation we do, and a lot of the time they're real community members and parents and people who used to go to New Tech or anyone who we think would do a good job grading us. But anyway, so they were grading us and um, got to see what we had to say. And our recommendation had more to do with we think you should let it expire because we shouldn't have $300 going to straight to the state from just getting a red light camera, um, a red light violation. So that was one of my favorite projects. Okay, so the two uh, examples that Valeria used were for this year. I'm going to go back and show you some examples from last year in American Studies. We both took that class. <laughs> First example, the HBO pitch for American Studies. So uh, for this project, we were put into groups, and we were told to make a mini-series for HBO. So this mini-series was supposed to address uh, this content standard of women and minorities during World War II. So not only had it, not only had it um, been an educational series, but it also had to be a series that was entertaining and something that HBO would actually use 
you know, can't you know just be something you know boring. It had to be you know exciting. And, you know, like I said, something HBO would use. So uh, me and my group we made this plot of this um, typical high school, uh, you know, quarterback who uh, was was like the perfect guy. Everybody loved him at school, but he didn't really like to do his history homework. Uh, in fact, he had to write an essay about women and minorities during World War II, and he just blew it off because he didn't want to do it. He didn't think it was important. So he, he kind of he was, he was visited by ghosts from uh, the content, you know, kind of like Scrooge, you know, except it was, you know, people from Japanese internment camps, you know, uh, the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, Navajo Code Talkers, you know. Um, so at the end of the story, he was, you know, motivated to, he, he saw the importance, you know, they, they, he, um, the ghosts took him back in time, and uh, at the end, you know, like at the end, he just was motivated to try and she actually got it done. Anyway, I received, um, or my group, not just me, oh, my... Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's one. payback, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, I didn't include the rubric, but I included this award that my group received. Um, this happens from time to time. Teachers will give awards to groups that they uh, feel like they, you know, they did a really impressive job. <coughs> this was my group uh, with uh, Luke, Marissa, Alex, and Devin. Anyway, um, that was just uh, one of my examples. My next one video? is yeah, the video. The vi we actually made a trailer. That's something that got us this award. Just go to the <coughs> second one right there. Now I have developed as a student since this was made, so it seems really <laughs> okay. I, I, have, I, have, I know what I want to do in life now. This, is, this was before then. Anyways, <laughs> I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's called, the series was called Blind. Anyway, so I play Troy. Uh, play Amazing video. I mean, yeah. Uh, Why do you do that? <coughs> Being the captain of the football team has its advantages. Disadvantages. Troy is no exception for that. He should be at home studying with his mind over his own world to the final. Instead, he wishes to be blind. Right, okay, Remshot 82, you need to like pick it up because not only have I been leading the whole team, but you're basically handing kills right to the enemy! You need to pick it up now! Pick it up! <laughs> what, what happened? Respect. No, no power? No, what, what is this? We'll understand. Mom! You're supposed to pay the electricity bill so I can play my game! Alright, you're the provider! I'm supposed to be number one in school! You think video games make you understand the sacrifices of war? You have an instrument test. Kicks into the spark notes. Uh, my second example is the Great Gatsby. How many of you have 
have read that. 